all right guys welcome to another tutorial so today we're gonna go over creating save system so let's begin with that so first we need to let's go into the resource folder create a new script we could call it save save system rgd let's open it up where is it Right here, go to project settings, set it to be an auto load script, and save system, add, it's enabled, close. So, first, you'll create two signals, and we're gonna use those to call when the level is loaded, when the data is loaded, or the data is saved. You don't need these, but I'll use them. So next we are going to create a save directory so that's be users saves i'll explain where that is in a minute then we're gonna encrypt the save data so create a password keep it simple for now um i'll go over that in a minute as well and then now we need to create the save data so i'm gonna save our save data i'm gonna use a dictionary actually a nested dictionary so we're gonna call these level one level one may use a whatever you call it then another dictionary insider the name that's gonna be level name you don't need this here but I just have it there so I can easily know what level I'm using or what level I'm dealing with I should say let me add a score. Oops. Score. Set that to zero. Another comma. Maybe collectible. 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 Found. It's a boolean. I might use the apple for that. And say false. Then completed. So now you press comma. Oops, what is that? Comma. Go down a bit. Oh, you can see that. Then create ten more of these. Go level two, level three, level four, level five. So level eleven is gonna be maybe a boss level. I'm not sure yet, but see what happens. Moving on. Now we need to create its file path. So that is the directory and the name of the file, the save file. So I write MTA, that's Mario Stacy Adventure, save that data. So, so let's go below the ready and see create a function, save data, uh, save data. First we create a directory, then we check if the directory exists. If it doesn't exist, we create it recursively. Recursively means it creates all the folders required, like users. Well, that folder exists already, so it's gonna create saved, and then create this one, the MTA saved it, and then create a save file. Then we open the save file <clears throat> to write to it. Then we store a variable, and that would be the save data that appeared. And then you have to remember to always close the save file. Then we could emit the signal. Data saved. So we can use that to like maybe change a UI or something. To show something on the screen. You know what I mean. Alright, that's it for the saving. Delete that process. Don't need that. Now we go function load data. So same thing again, create a save file, check if the file exists, and we say save file that open at the part, we say file part, and we set the file tab to read, but read, and we set the save data to be equal to save file, whoops, save file dot get bar. Then we have to say save file that close. That close. 
then we emit the signal emit signal file loaded all right that should be it that should be the end of this video but if now you want to have access to all of this stuff we create two functions okay so now we add another function called add level data so we get the level number that's this here so level one for example actually then the data name for the level so if it's a name we know we're not changing the name but maybe the score collectible and then the amp value so save data value name so that's how you get to a nested location and then you set the value so the value can be anything so it's a variant so you have to make sure you you know know that the collectible would be a boolean value complete as a boolean score is a integer all right then we have another function get double data they use that to you know get just everything from one level so all of this for example you know if you want to display it on i'm going to actually use it that's why i'm adding it here i'm going to use it to put above the the level portals let me show you what i mean like it's going to be above here that whenever i go towards it and probably press a button to start the level instead all right guys that should be it it's a pretty short video or i could test it out let's let's test it out so where could we put this let's save all scenes go back to the script now that we have this here we could say where is it and ready let's say load data load data here let's set it to print so print data data loaded and we could say else print data doesn't exist all right that's for the first time loading it let's print down here again up here i mean say data saved oops print data saved All right, save. So I had the cake open already for level one. So whenever we touch the cake, it should print it. So let's open the cake up. So right here, print save system dot save data. Oh, another thing I want to do is maybe let's set one of the values. Let's say level one complete or something like that. What I should actually do though is maybe put this in the game manager instead. But nah, it's not necessary. Let me see what I have over here. Game manager. See current level. Variable. Current level. Okay, I'm gonna have that as um a test. Let's do that here. So save system dot add level data the level one data completed completed and then set it to true then we say save system dot save data i could add another one here too score score Oops, not there. Score. Oh, 1,020. All right, now let's go here. All right, let's grab the, so data doesn't exist. Read it on the bottom. So let's load that level up. Let's kill these guys. I need to work on that, but that's a different problem. All right, let's go over here. Good print data saved. Uh, should I send it back, right? So let's create that. Now we could maybe 
Just click go here. Print the data. Okay, I think I do that. In the, okay, let's say print get level level data then say level one load it up here you go completed is equal to true so if you want to know where it's saved it's actually you go to app data by default it should be updated roman godot app user data then whatever the name of the game is then the save file so that's where it is so empty let's see okay guys so back in the save data save system to use this password go to open right here change it to open encrypted with pass and then come here and see my password at the end then down here in the load data open encrypted with pass my password and then make sure it's read this time and that should be it Alright guys, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, and later.